Well, I was trying to find some more information about the activation of this uh, pill camera. Um, had a look for patent, and I found a guy called Arkady Glukowski, who's the seems to be the chief technical guy at um, Given Imaging, who Google search brings up about 1,200 patents, or you know, mostly related to this sort of area of this, these pill cameras. And I found this one um, device and method for blocking activation of an in vivo sensor. Um, and this basically talks about using some sort of non-volatile element. Um, there's various sort of diagrams, that, there's some description of the, of the uh, overall thing, and they, they, they all show this non-volatile memory operation blocker. They also describe in detail the conditions under which it blocks, so to avoid accidental deactivation, basically it's either based on runtime, battery voltage, there's quite a few different methods they describe um, to decide when to trigger this um, blocking circuit. A few interesting bits, this is an interesting one. Um, it may be possible to reuse components of the device by retrieving it upon excretion and replacing the battery if needed. Reusing an in vivo device which has been designed or intended for single use may have drawbacks. Yes, the drawback is the company doesn't make quite so much money out of it. The, this patent has got lot, it seems to cover lots and lots of different variants on a similar th th thing. So for example here it's saying a memory bit or register may be set, a fuse or connection be altered or a component may be physically or logically disabled disabled or damaged so they're just trying to I think they're just trying to cover as many bases as they can to get good patent coverage in terms of the activation so it's mostly based on uh, runtime but there's also mention of being triggered by an external device an external um, broadcast signal to trigger it you say yes uh, maybe a physical device or an absence of a physical device such as for example an insulator that may be melted for example by a charge on satisfa satisfaction of certain conditions and it may be say memory bit a register that may be set to prevent future operation a component an image or a logic block that's physically or log logically disabled and also the other option they mention is instead of just an enable just effectively a run timer so the thing will just keep track of time and just stop working when the value of that run timer is over a certain amount and also deciding to trigger it once the battery voltage goes below a certain level another bit here about um, various types of non-volatile memory uh, a diode junction that, that may be burnt and they even talk about other types of non-volatile including micro mechanical devices which change status which that seems a little bit extreme but I suppose if you're trying to work around this patent that might be one way you might consider doing it if they hadn't mentioned that specifically in the uh, the patent and again looking at the actual patent claims this is all pretty much about the method of disabling the non-volatile now what's really interesting is that Everything here talks about a non-volatile blocker, not what I was thinking it was going to be, is a, effectively a, a, a volatile enabler. Now, that is quite interesting because they seem to have covered yeah, pretty much all the bases in terms of a non-volatile memory in this patent, but not any volatile methods. Now, maybe it's because somebody else has patented that, but considering how you know, the number of patents these guys have got and the number of the amount of detail this goes into, I'm just amazed that they, yeah, I'd be very surprised they haven't actually thought of the idea of a volatile thing. It just needs some sort of active, factive, yeah, factory activation process that then drops out when the battery goes. So, um, not really sure on that, but yeah, there aren't that many people in this in this business, and it looks like they were the first. So I'd be a little bit surprised if somebody else had um, you know, had come up with it and they'd not painted it from that method. So maybe they hadn't thought of it. So if you're looking to, to design a pill cam, maybe you should look at um, volatile active activation rather than blocking to stop people reusing it.